Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Dash Brennan. If you enjoy my content, let me know by hitting that like button. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to Starship Theory. There was there's been a lot of patches this week uh, since the game went live. Oh, can you pause the game. Just wanted to show uh, that there's quick saves, quick loads, auto saves, uh, zoom in, zoom out keys, hide UI key, and uh, there's now a triple speed right there. So that's pretty neat. So I had some, I was trying to get this recording done the other night, but I had a few issues. We'll, we'll just say we had some issues. Um, <laughs> while trying to get this section built, I uh, may or may not have put a hole in my hole and uh, suffocated everybody. Just a just a little little mistake. So I had to restart while I was trying to make that video and uh, get everything going again. And then I got this far and everything was cool and I was chilling again. So we got our little crew quarters here. We got some more storage. We got our food over here now. Um, what else we got? We got someone cleaning up here. <laughs> We're growing food in two places now, and we've only got the one engineer. Oh, and I got a fifth. A fifth crew member. I know, like, other people that are, like, watching this are like, big whoop. <laughs> Good for you, bro. Good for you. But hey, I'm excited, alright? Sometimes it takes a lot. So, I don't know what I hit there, but we went scrolling all kinds of crazy. Um, I don't really know what we have coming in here. Oh, oh. Now I do. So I don't know why this, con why this mining laser isn't getting constructed. I have, I have the required stuff. I have an engineer, I'm not in code red. So I don't know what's going on with them. Maybe, maybe he'll get to it eventually. <laughs> or maybe his morale is just real shit and he's really pissed off. Oh, and I got my medium solar panels going now, too. So things are looking pretty good right now. Ship detected on long-range scanners. I've gotten into the habit where once they've set their intercept course, which means that they're, you know, not too far away, not too far away at all, um, that's about the time that I pull everyone inside and get ready to jump if I can jump. <laughs> Or uh, set everyone to be an engineers if I think I need to uh, try and survive it. Alright, they're on the intercept course now, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna hit that that code blue. Everyone get inside. Oh, and I got two ways to get in my ship now, too. So that's cool, too. One thing I gotta say I really enjoy about this game is that my ship cannot get boarded like you can in FTL. That, uh, that actually really messes me up in FTL quite often. And these guys are friendly, so we can take our blue off, and we can look at uh, what we can do here. We can't sell 25 silicon, because we don't have 25 silicon. Um, we're not buying gold, we're not buying water, and we can't buy a crew. So they've got they've got some pretty good weapons, so I don't, I don't think we need to be messing with them at all. Uh, I don't think we need to threaten them. I try not to threaten them people usually it's kind of a roll of the dice I guess you could do it if you were gonna save and then threaten and then you know possibly have to reload if that's what you want to do if that's how you want to play the game that's up to you but uh really that just it takes too long to me too long altogether hey we got some more silicon definitely needed that and we got a star coming up so we're gonna have some fires breaking out and hopefully people will uh, do what they're supposed to be doing over here. Which it doesn't look like they are. This lady right here. You need to be putting out some fires, lady. Do something. Alright? Because right now you're just... You, you can't piss me off that you're not doing anything. In fact, if someone wanted to buy you, I'd probably sell you right now. Just because I already have four people that are doing things. Mostly. They're mostly doing things. Put out that bed fire. <laughs> She's not even putting out the bed fire, really? Come on, lady. Get with the program. Alright, she put out the bed fire. And release control. Oh, we do have someone finally working on that mining laser. So that's always good, too. Well, just when there's all these repairs to do, you know? Repairs aren't, aren't that important at all. They're really no big deal at all. <laughs> Who needs a ship? 
when you can have a mining laser. I don't know if that mining laser is even active. It is not. What does it need? It needs some CPU. I was actually trying to get geared up to expand to the left and uh, put my a CPU cord in. But now, now I guess I'm just going to have to build one. This car is just going to build one little guy right there. And hopefully we will be getting pretty close to, um, pretty damn close to being able to expand that wing. We have quite a bit of metal, <clears throat> which is always good. Uh, I need to kick this up a little bit because this, this asteroid field is taking a long time. And the building is taking a long time. And uh, it's just not, it's not, what I'm, it's not what I'm about right now. All right, so now we got some four lasers going. So we're gonna mine a little bit better. And uh, we do hopefully not have any problems with our heat. We have 30 points worth of uh, worth of heat dissipation. That's six, I believe. That's six uh, heat vents. That's pretty pretty handy. I do say so myself. All right, let's get this going. Yeah, this is real bad. Then, on top of the other issues that I had the other night, um, a monsoon came through and decided that it wanted to rain all over everything when I was trying to record. And if you don't know what a monsoon is, it's a, it's a really big storm, but it happens like like that. It happens in minutes. It's actually kind of annoying. Um, it's your car all spotty. Uh, floods a lot. I live in Arizona. Uh, floods a lot. Real bad. Real bad. People actually get stuck in washes because they think that they can drive through it and they're really not, you know, the brightest of people sometimes. Bertha, what is your deal? <laughs> she is literally killing me right now. You know what? You're going to go be an engineer. And you're going to, you, you better go build some shit. God damn it. <laughs> better go build some shit because you're pissing me off, Bertha. And your name is Bertha too, so that's not helping your it's not helping your cause at all. We're going triple speed, and she's still moving slow. Triple speed and still slow as molasses. That's just annoying. That is just annoying. We're gonna start expanding our ship a little bit after all these repairs get done. Bertha is still being a lazy bitch. <laughs> Bertha, now you're sleeping on the floor, and there's a perfectly good bed right there. Is it because it's marginally damaged from a fire that you weren't putting out? Is that why you don't want to go sleep in that? Bertha, you're killing me. Bertha. I'm just going to leave you named Bertha, too. You can actually change your character's names. Uh, rename right there. But uh, I like yelling at Bertha right now. <laughs> She's killing me. See, this guy slept in his bed, Bertha. What's your deal? What's your, what's your deal? Are you too good for your bed? Is that, is that what your deal is? So that's how you make it seem, Bertha. So here we're going to put a uh, big solar panel again. Uh, we're going to put the medium solar panel right in here. In fact, we should probably move up that one to the top so it gets done next. So we can go ahead and queue this up. Then we're gonna start putting down some floor, and uh, we're gonna try and make this symmetrical because it's the kind of guy I am. I like my symmetry. I wonder if notifications work. Oh, that's cool. They put a grid on how big you can build your ship. I am not even close to the maximum size. We got quite a ways to go there. Asteroid field. That's cool. It's gonna be popping up like super fast, I bet. Scroll out super far. Okay. When it does start coming, it's going to come quickly. So at this point, I like to uh, make sure that everything is the same all the way across. So we're going to actually slow this down to normal speed. Is that eight across from here? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's my hole. Six, seven, eight. And that's actually where we're going to be putting our uh, our water is at the end of this hole right now. Pretty good idea, don't you think? Food on one side, water on the other. So they can't get greedy and take them both at once. One man show, you know? I'll have all kinds of money to be thrown into this stuff. <laughs> I'll have all these resources you people want, alright? 
Alright, we're gonna slow this down a little bit. I feel like... I feel like double speed is slower, slightly. Maybe it's just me. Oh, we're gonna need some repairs. We're gonna need some repairs real bad. We got a star popping up. We're gonna get some water though, that's always good. Water can actually sell pretty well. Pretty well indeed. Ship detected on the long range scanners. Well, isn't that just super? I'm just so thrilled for this. Put out the fire, please. Please and thank you. All right, they put out the fire. Thank you very much for their working on it. One or the other. They got it. They got it. Systems overheating. I want that to happen when we're uh, in the middle of the star. But I don't want to pop this over the ship. And we want to call everyone back in now. All two engineers. Bertha, that bitch being one of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, they've got shields. Oh, and they're not hostile. Well, that's good. Alright, we can sell them 14 silicon. Not gonna do that because we're low. Sell them 22 metal. Yeah. Yeah, we can probably afford to do that. Our build right now is 28. We got a ways to go. We're trying to get to uh, 784. Sell them 11 water? Yeah, we'll do that too. Then we can buy another crew member. So who do we get? Connie? Alright, what up Connie? What's going on? What is uh, what is Connie good at? She's pretty, pretty good at combat and engineering. It's good enough. Good enough. She's gonna be cleaning right now though. That, that bitch Bertha, she gets to go outside the ship. <laughs> we will need to start looking at uh, refilling our water supplies. Oh, we're overheating pretty bad. Uh, it's under control again. Kind of. Not really? Okay, now it is. Now it's under control. We keep expanding and hopefully we'll... Oh, got some water. I'm not even like looking up here. That thing just missed us because of our uh, plus three dodge. I'm gonna have to build some more engines though. Because I like having... I like being at the cap. It's real good. That'll probably be next, buying those engines. <laughs> Man, they, those guys are getting jacked up. Oh, we've created a lot of heat too? Where are you? Are you going on? Yeah, you're going to the fire. Alright, go faster. Please. <laughs> Before it burns a hole in the ship and I have to cut it off. Manual control on you. You're going there. Alright. I think our fires will be under control now. They're leaving. No. They were my friends. What are you doing, man? Get over there. I know control on you over there. Yeah, I knew you were going to run away too. Now we can release control on him, and we can release control on her. And everyone can get back to what they were doing. Which appears to be kind of nothing, to be completely honest here. We need to build some engines. <laughs> more dodge. Oh, we just lost our chair and our table because of that. That sucks. Well, looks like we're building a chair and a table first. In fact, we're gonna make Connie... We're gonna make her an engineer for a little while. Need to get caught up on these repairs. And, uh, I could go into Code Red, but I also really want to finish this area so I can start building that out. Drones are planned for this game, and I'm I'm really excited for some drones. Drones would be sweet. Uh, I think that they'll take care of some of your, uh, possibly some of your mining, or your cleaning, or firefighting. I don't know what they're going to do exactly, but it is in the plan. Duncan's already talked about, you know, kind of the roadmap. Uh, he's fixing major issues, uh, doing quality of life stuff, and uh, just kind of, you know, shoring everything up, then he's going to start adding more content to the game. Which I think is going to be really cool. So, that's that. Lisa, what are you doing? You're killing me, Lisa. Lisa, you know what? You're, you're going to be an engineer for a little bit. Actually, no. Your XP is real high. We do need to repair that uh, small plant bed. I think that's what she's waiting on, maybe. We also need to repair this piece of floor down here pretty badly. 
Those will be the next uh, two things we do. Yeah! Repairing. We can also kick up the speed, probably. Oh man, we're already at 15 minutes. <laughs> wow. Time flies, right? So, we're actually going to queue up removing that. I don't know why we just had a frame drop there. I don't know what the heck just happened. Uh, Connie? Oh, Connie wasn't the, uh... Who was our other science person? Or are they still a science person? Oh, we still have three. Alright, I can count, I promise. Let's move up this, uh, solar panel dealy bobber. And then once we... Once we get a little bit further in here, on the repairs, we're gonna go ahead and make, um... Who should we have doing that? I'm going back to, uh, fixing stuff. Or not fixing stuff. Probably... Probably Bertha. Should, should go back to being general here pretty soon. Bertha, she just can't get away. Can't get away from the shitty jobs, can you, Bertha? Alright, we're gonna make... We need this one over here to be first, so we can put a door in right away. That's the plan. Gotta put in a door right away. So, <laughs> just like this one. We can lock it. And then unlock it. And uh, we can make sure that we don't die of suffocation from a fire. And we've been researching weapons for quite a while. I think... I think what I want is going to be... I want the chain gun, but it's also really expensive. 30 metal, 20 silicon. I mean, a lot of these are quite expensive when you look at them. And it comes down to getting like one one chain gun or a bunch of laser turrets. I'm not really sure what the right call there exactly would be. So maybe y'all can let me know. Oh, we need to build a table again. Table. We need a chair. Asteroid field is coming. And we need a door right there. Asteroid field is probably still a little ways away. I think after we get through this asteroid field, we'll uh, go ahead and call the video done. <clears throat> um, so we will need to get over here first. There first, so we can put down a new water tank. Water cooler. Oh, we got a star coming too? That sucks. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make Bertha general. Be general, Bertha. No one really likes you because you're kind of a jerk, anyways. So, there's that. <laughs> Bertha, you're a bitch. <laughs> oh. We are mining. Let's go back to one time speed. Get our mine on. We also have a star coming, so we're going to want to watch our heat pretty closely. As always, we're looking for silicon. Ship is now on an intercept course. Uh, let's go ahead and pull everyone back in just in case. Just in case. Come on in, buddy. Go put out some fires. Okay. We need to step in here, apparently. Manual control. Fire. They're not currently hostile, that's good. We can sell them nine water, or 19 metal. We're actually gonna hold on to all of our resources right now. We, uh, we're at, what, six? Yeah, we're at six people. I think this is a pretty good spot for now. You need to put out that damn fire, all right, man? All right, thank you. Now go do stuff. Oh, I can turn off code blue, too. Just kinda left it on. This will be painful if this asteroid blows up on me. It'll make me sad if it takes down my chair and my table. So small solar panel destroyed. That's cool. Thanks a lot. Oh. There's silicon that I can't reach. Oh, I need a mining extender. Need it real bad. They are talking about uh, putting automatic mining in the game, so that'd be kind of cool. Pretty neat. I do like the gameplay loop in the early game for, like, you need to mine or you're not going to have anything. 
But I'm sure as you get later into the game, it just becomes tedious in a way. I wonder if we can research a medium engine. Do we have a star? Yeah. No, it's still ahead, I think. Still ahead. We apparently need some more heat vents though, because uh, we're generating too much heat with four lasers going on six vents. Earlier in the game, we were doing two vents per laser, so I think that we'll have to get up to... We'll probably have to get up to something like that again, to be completely honest. Alright, you guys can stop doing that and you guys can repair for now. Especially because we're at 86 health overall for the ship. We're getting some water, which is good. Another couple silicon. Systems are overheating, that's bad. We'll put out them fires, boys. Please? Okay, thank you. We're gonna leave ourselves in Code Red for a while. Not Mountain Dew code ready either, unfortunately. I just have terrible puns. I think I'm ready to be a dad. Got the dad jokes down. I don't know why I have that small engine selected. Oh well. I think you have to research the medium event value. Yeah, that's, t that's 10 points. That's a lot of points, man. We've been going at, uh... Been going at weapons for a while like I didn't I didn't show you guys when I started doing it but uh, it was a long time ago for sure what's he doing oh he's repairing pretty soon they'll be caught up on their repairs I think we'll go ahead and change her over to an engineer again Bertha put Bertha on that again yeah, so every time you switch jobs right now, you lose all the experience that you've gained in that job. So that's why I'm trying to switch the same person back and forth. Seems to be working out pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and put the water cooler over here. And we have to queue up removing this water cooler. And we probably need to... Where's our uh, construct water cooler? Where's the tearing down of the water cooler? Where'd that go? Where, where, where's the tearing down of this guy? Remove. There it is. Our list uh, bugged out there for a second, I think. So we'll have the. Our door isn't on this list anymore either. Oh, there it is. It's near the bottom there. So we want the coolers on top, and then we'll handle that door. Go remove the water cooler, buddy. Come on. Actually, I think I should go one more, or one more over. Eh, we'll just leave it. It'll look weird if we do that. It already kind of looks weird. Because I don't really have much of a plan for over here. I was thinking starting consoles, like a navigation console. And, um, CPU core. Alright, we're gonna not remove that apparently. Because they're being whiny people about the water. It's on, right? Nope, it's off. There it is. Go get some water. It's your last chance for a little while. Looks like all the scientists need it. Pretty badly. I lied to you. I said we were gonna stop after that last asteroid field. I kinda wanna get this area going though. I do think I should probably save. And the quick saves were bugged earlier, so I'm not really using those. Alright. We're gonna force Marcus over here. Manual control. Move him inside. You can take that down. Then he can build that. It seems smaller. Oh, it is smaller by one section because of, uh just because of the way everything worked out over here. I expanded there first. Come on, build it. Don't be a punk. All right, now you can, now you can go do whatever you want. I don't give a shit about what you do anymore. <laughs> Bertha is repairing something, but we're gonna go ahead and put her on general again. And then we will finally 
very, very finally queue up the, uh, there we go. There's the CPU. Oh, we need six points. Are you kidding me? Okay, Bertha, I need you to go over there and handle that. Lewis, you can come over here and handle this. Well, I'll release Bertha. Okay, we need Bertha, maybe. Or Lewis can do it. Lewis, Lewis got this. Damn stars. Always starting fires. Alright. There we go. So, now we're just kind of chilling. I think we'll build... We'll build a weapon. What are we going to build? We're going to build the plasma turret. We can barely afford it. And we actually can cannot afford it as far as CPU power goes. So we're going to have to build a CPU panel. And we're going to change Lewis over to researching engineering. So that we can get a CPU array at some point. And um, yeah, that's our plan for now. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and build that weapon. We're going to build the plasma turret. Damages base shields by three, base hull damage by three, crew damage by three, heat three, and reload time of three seconds. So we'll go ahead and unlock that. And I'll stick one of those on our ship right there. That seems like a good spot that I can shoot a lot of stuff. And then we'll also need to be thinking about some engines. Man, that's a big ass engine. <laughs> uh, that's just the medium, too. Look at the large. It's ridiculous. Warp core. Doubles jump drive recharge speed. Limit of one. Huh. That's pretty cool. Alright. We're going to add some more engines in here. Let's get at this Connie. What's up with you? Your morale is low. Your hunger is low. Your something else is low. Oh, we still need to build that door, too. I need that door right there. Engines are much more important than that. So we'll let them deal with the engines first. Asteroid field detected ahead. And in. We're also going to need probably another CPU for these engines. Yep. We have to take five. And the one we're building uh, will not give us very much. It's going to give us 20. And we need 18 of that. Oh, well, we need two of that 20, as it is. This should be fun. I think we're getting to the point where we're gonna we're gonna hang out here for a while and keep farming. Um, probably build a navigation console, and then from there, I'm not really sure where we're gonna go. I'll farm for a while and just kind of extend the ship. I might even go up and out like so, and. Uh, That'll be, that'll be kind of expensive, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. I think it'll be very well worth it. And it'll look really cool too. We have a big ass ship. And we got four lasers. I should have put in another heat vent already. Damn it. Heat vent. Right there. Heat vent. Priority. After this engine. <laughs> right now we're sitting at plus two dodge. We should be at plus five. Ship detected. We might have to test out our um, plasma turret at some point here. The nice thing is that now that we've researched the plasma turret, we can build as many as we can afford to build. So if this is a hostile group, we will try fighting them for a little while just to see how this plasma turret goes. They're on an intercept course. It's fine. Everything is fine. We're doing fine. <laughs> yeah, look at all that poppage. I pop this one too? Probably. Eh. Yeah, did it. Ship exiting warp. They have weapons. They're powering up their weapons. So let's let's go ahead and uh, see what this is all about. We'll take down we'll just shoot randomly into their into their ship there. And uh we can turn that on now. Oh, that's neat. I like that a lot. We should actually... 
probably target their weapons. Though, I think we're gonna have trouble killing it with just one gun. This one gun isn't very strong at all. Uh, we should consider moving one of these storages over so that we can uh, build more guns. But we also need quite a bit more silicon before we can really worry about all that. Yeah, we've just got some silicon too. Nice. Doing good. It's a metal. Metal's always good. Oh, they're they're repairing that as we're shooting it, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll be fine. Open this door. Unlock. We don't want our ship to be all locked up right now. In fact, we're just gonna pull everyone in and jump. Everybody in. We haven't jumped in a while. Oh man, that, that gave us a lot of damage right there. Oh man, we've actually almost taken out their uh, one of their cannons there. So actually, we're just, we're just gonna stay and fight. I haven't really fought much in, in any of these recent batches. In fact, I haven't really fought since uh, 1.0 early access build came out. One more shot and I think we got it. There we go. I'm just gonna point over there now. Actually, as much as I wanna keep shooting that, we're going to try and destroy part of their hull. We're gonna try and suffocate them by doing this, and uh, I think we should be able to do it as long as we can do it before they decide to leave. Our ship's doing great. I mean, we got repairs that we need to do, but other than that, we're doing pretty good. I don't think anything is about to break. Maybe that, maybe that guy right there? But I mean, it's really not, really not all that bad. Could be worse. I'm gonna go ahead and put Bertha on engineering for a while, though. The bad thing about fighting in the asteroid field is that we're also shooting asteroids with our weapons. That's another way to pop asteroids if you were unaware. Uh, we might try that when we're not actively in combat at some point. <laughs> but we're doing good on the repairs. Oh man, they got three people out there repairing now. I wonder if a corner piece has less, less health. That seems like it could be a thing for it to have less health here. I would over here. Right? Seems seems like it could be possible. We're not having any trouble right now with or any uh We're not being successful at all killing this. But I'm also kind of okay with that at the moment, because we're also not dying. <laughs> this has been one of the first times well this is the first time this run where I haven't had to just straight up run from a fight. I wish that I could see how much health the uh, hall hat there. That'd be pretty handy. And I think that you can only get a free crew member if you like just damage their their ship so much that you chew through their 100 health like they have here. I think that's really the only way to do that. I'm not gonna bribe them. Even if I had money, I wouldn't bribe them at this point. I'd just jump if I was scared. Um, I can probably probably just take code red off now oh, our engine didn't get built over here that sucks we'll just have to queue up another one right there man my air conditioner is loud oh and also during the monsoon uh, my power went out so it's a good thing I was not recording at that time because uh, things could have gotten real bad real fast for me <laughs> as far as recording goes. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's about to rain right now, so I do actually need to wrap this up. Plus the fact that it's at a 35 minute video. I'm just kind of waiting for these guys to leave. But we're doing good on destroying that. We might actually kill them soon. We're lucky. So, that's always good. 
I kind of want to see if we can kill them. But I'm pretty sure that they're going to leave before we can kill them. That kind of sucks. We can remove that guy. And we're going to kind of try and save up some... Uh... Oh, there they go. They're leaving. But we're doing so well. <laughs> Alright. But this thing just keeps shooting unless you turn it off. Which could be real bad if you end up with uh, some non-hostile people. Come on, Bertha. Get, get with the program here, alright? Okay, take care of that fire. And take care of this fire. Bertha's not a team player, man. You gotta tell her to do everything. Bertha, you're such a bitch. You're like Kyle's mom. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably really bad, but I don't I don't even care. She's finding a place to eat, but she's gonna be on general. <laughs> Bertha is <this> guy's mom. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh I hope that you join me next time for some more Starship Theory. And I'm Dash Brand and I'm out of here. Later.